Hi, and welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, and today we're going to be talking about a silver BlackBerry Passport, but we're going to be talking about something slightly different, a little announcement that was made with the BlackBerry Passport launch, but not really a big fuss was made about it. And I'm talking about a piece of software called BlackBerry Blend. Then what BlackBerry Blend does, and to me it's a very, very powerful feature, it allows you to connect a PC, be it Mac or your normal Windows machine, and your tablet, be it an Android or an iOS device, and connect it via Blend to your BlackBerry Passport. And once you do that, it's as if you're working on the, on the BlackBerry Passport itself directly from your PC. So if we have a quick look at what this does, so on the Passport itself, you've got a piece of software called BlackBerry Blend, which you can tap into. Once it does, it will tell you that it's paired up with which of devices. I've actually got it paired up with my laptop. If you click on the Go connect, on the connections itself, it will give you bits of information. It says what's the device name, what can it connect to. But here's a cool bit: use mobile network. If you switch this thing on, what it will do is it will allow you your PC to connect to your BlackBerry phone, no matter where it is in the world. In other words, as long as your phone has got an internet access of some sort, your PC using the Blend software will find your phone and be able to link into that. And that's pretty cool. So think of situations of you've left your phone at home and then you need the one-time PIN for your banking. You can do that. Um, or you've left your phone in the car and you've got a missed call and all of a sudden it will let you know who, who called you. So that's the part, that's the BlackBerry Blend um, bit on the, so on the phone itself. But we're going to turn our attention now towards the BlackBerry Blend software on the PC. So let me show you exactly what it can do. Okay, so here is the BlackBerry Blend running on my Windows 7 machines. Double click and it makes a secure connection to my BlackBerry Passport. We align this. Um, as you can see from the dashboard, I've got my hubs, my email, BBM, SMSs. I've got my appointments letting me know what's happening in the next while. I've got here quick um, access to various bits of information. So if we just go into something like the hub, that are one of my accounts, um, you can see here you get full functionality out of normal email. You've got your delete, mark as unread, flag, file, forward, reply to all, etc. I could compose an email in here, and of course I could use my keyboard to type my message. I could give it a subject line, touch type of course. Um, but here's what's cool. When you do an attachment, it allows you to attach a file from your device, or you can attach a file from your computer. And that's quite neat when it bridges the gap between your machine and the BlackBerry Passport itself. So I could be working on a document on my machine, and I could, uh, but I need to email it and it's for work, and I want to use my work email address, therefore I can able to send it out straight from there, um, and it will still come from my work exchange server and will arrive as per, as per normal. Even though I'm bridging, yeah, I'm technically using my home machine to do that. Um, so that's quite a, quite a cool feature. Um, it's got all access to all your various hub bits of information that you can kind of get into. Um, if we go into something like your contact, you'll find I could add a new contact, I could give all the bits of information as you normally would. Of course, anything you save here will be saved directly onto, on, onto the phone itself. Um, if we take one of these kind of arbitrary contacts, I could go into that, I could Add to favorites. I could delete this, this particular, um, this particular contact as well. Um, in my contacts here, you can see it's also broken down into my various other items that I've linked to my hubs. So here, my BBM contacts, my LinkedIn contacts, Facebook, my Twitter, and my SIM card. Anything that I've got on my machine, I can actually have access to straight from here. Nice for being able to copy and paste and update various records as well. So if we carry on on this particular um, theme of files, here is my file manager. And the nice thing is here, I can access absolutely everything. So here's my device file manager. So I've got all my bits of information here. 
and I've got my media card reader. So media cards, so I can access anything that's on my SD card, my box account, my Dropbox account, my actual computer, music, pictures, and videos, and they all kind of be linked together and I could interact with any of this. So I could right click on something, I could open it, I could even save it away from my phone and save it directly onto my, my, my PC. So that's a nice way to get information back and forth from your device. Um, very cool, uh, especially things like your calendar. Let's just go check that out. So what it does is it opens up the calendar that's on my um, that's on my phone. Sorry, just checking is anything exciting in here. Um, I could go ahead and add a calendar. I could add a local calendar. I could create an item, and I do it very much like you normally would on your on, on, on any particular um, kind of system. But we need to remember that what's very very cool about this particular option is that if you have a work machine that locks it down, that is not allowed to have your personal information on it, this is a great way of getting your personal information basically viewable directly on your work machine without breaching any security. And vice versa, if this is your home machine and you don't want any of your work stuff, um, you're able to quickly have a Bridget go into Blackberry Blend and be able to get onto your device and be able to scope out anything that you need to do for work um, knowing that you haven't breached security again, because as soon as you disconnect, absolutely no information is left behind. No files, no, no, no traces at all. So that's just a very, very quick overview of what BlackBerry Blend does. Um, things like if you get a message, uh, an email that will come in, this will notify you um, by, your, by your time, by your clock effectively. Um, if you've got a missed call or a call that's coming in, it will tell you who the call is from with caller ID. So you don't have to keep on looking up at your phone or looking down at your phone as it vibrates on the table just to work out what's going on. Everything is actually activated straight from here. So quite a cool piece of software, very underrated. Um, and I think that's going to be the underpin of BlackBerry's enterprise system, which allows you to take your 10.3 operating system and be able to integrate into that or via any other device or very be it Mac or be it Windows and also via a tablet on Android or a iPad. So that's very, very cool. Really take care of their bring your own device to work situation. Uh, IT managers and security experts um, don't have to panic that you're you're leaking information everywhere because everything is contained in a nice secure secure area. So that's again a quick tour of what BlackBerry Blend does. Um, check out the post that I've, that I've done and then we'll give you some more information about that. Um, and as usual, don't forget to subscribe. There should be a button that comes out right about here. So do that and then there'll be more information as I get them. Cheers for now.